Let's start from now with more technical questions, okay? One that pop up very frequently was how we can protect our business when we do unregulated claims on the label, okay? What is not regulated, it depends from country to country, but let's try to do some examples that are general but uh, pertinent in most countries, uh, like uh, keto, like vegan, like natural, okay? Artisanal in certain countries and uh, for certain products, okay? What's the best strategy to protect my business? Well, uh, hmm. it's not easy to say. Let's speak of the most common case, okay? Natural, all natural. This term is not defined by any legislation that I'm aware of globally. We wrote an article with some colleagues two, three years ago. We map everything and we cannot find a single country regulating precisely with an act having the force of law, not just with guidance, terms like natural, made with natural ingredients, all natural. So what I can do if I want to protect myself in those situations is try to find a rational that is very solid to sustain these claims. There's no other way. I can do this with uh, creating technical dossiers linked to the certain characteristic of the food. I might do researches. I might, in, let's say, um, I can look for articles, guidances, documents that try to figure out the problem and give a definition of such terms to anchor my position. So I have to do my homework and create a reliable platform on which the claim is based. This will never give me the certainty, the 100% certainty that nobody will sue me, especially in countries like US where we have the class action system. Uh, we have a very you know, aggressive uh, <laughs> uh, structure of consumer representation, um, but at least will give me a line of defense.